across hundreds of years of history, friend. This is the old Holden Inn. Clean beds and strong drink. All right, then. You'll be looking to rent Tiber Septim's room, I take it? I Here, did. take a look Those at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. That's right. In the Second Era, Tiber Septim himself led the army that conquered Old Hrolden from the Barbarians of the Reach. Septim would later found the Empire that united Tamriel, but his first known battle and victory was right here. And this inn has the very bed the great general slept in on his first night as Old Hrolden's Liberator, as good as it was hundreds of years ago. See ya.
that's how it's done. No telling what traps and wards the ancient blades may have set. We'd best be careful in here. Skyhaven Temple was sealed against the return of the Dragonborn. I will try turning all the pillars to that symbol. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. Oh, 
place appears to be a shrine. here for Alduin's wall, right, Esbern? Uh, yes, of course. We'll have more time to look around later, I suppose. Let's see what's up ahead. This is the Akaviri symbol for shout, but there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragon, or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the news of Alduin. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War? or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. 
Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains, those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the graybeards up on their mountain. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Alkaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Alkaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with Aldrin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Elfin? You might learn something of our own history. Say something? Did you need something? Very good.
means so much to us. Thank you so much for taking care of those. Take a look. Retrieve the horn of Jorgen Wimkom. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. This shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now gift you with his knowledge of our dark. You have completed your training, Dragonborn. We would speak to you. Stand between us. Prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Indra, 
talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. show you how to open the way. Look. Va. Cor.
to my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Greetings. 
Prince Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? They see me as master, Wuth Onik, old and wise. It is true I am old. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dover King. of speech with one of my own kind. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Very protective of me, Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime. Our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this thum? Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Hmm, true. But Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak, just because you can do a thing, does not always mean you should. Hm. Do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez? of fate. If you can see your destiny clearly, your sight is clearer than mine. 
Dachman. Remember, Alduin also follows his destiny as he sees it. But I bow before your certainty. In a way, I envy you. The curse of much knowledge is often indecision. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? Mm, true, but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Hmm, yes and no. Viknus Nikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kele, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. So far, Suyek. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. 
Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dovah's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin, others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovahkiin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power, you have it as do all Dove, but power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your Sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora, what will you burn? What will you spare? Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit. Unslad Zee, where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. 
It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. Vormendark, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Noost Lihon, they would not listen. Yes, there were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. Return it here to the Tid Ahran, then, Kele Vomindok, nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no Dragonrend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuthfadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun, the Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. Look, Thum.
used to dream of it. In the dream, I was standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn. The whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon, within the clouds that mark the border between worlds. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew, but I could never wake up. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange, the color of hearth and dawn, and a sound too distinct and indistinct, not thunder, something else, something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what uh, I don't yet know. In the manner of dreams I cannot escape, I'm forced to wait to watch. Then, finally, realization and horror arrive together. The orange is flame, heat, the sound, the roar, a challenge in their ancient tongue. But now it's too late for escape. The dragon is upon me, fire, darkness descending like a thunderbolt. And not just any dragon, but the dragon, Aldrin, the world eater, the dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream, but know that it was not. Ah, you're back. I hope you've made some progress on tracking down this shout we need to defeat Alduin. Ah, indeed. And there's a pretty puzzle. Not the kind of thing you'll find in your local bookshop. Let me think. Perhaps the College of Winterhold. What learning there is in Skyrim is gathered there. One of the mages there may be able to put you on the trail of this Elder Scroll. Haven't you been paying attention to anything I've said? Only you can finally defeat Alduin and avert the end of the world. If we can just find out what this dragon wren shout is. You may have a chance. Or not. There's no guarantee with prophecy. Merely hope. Uh, do you know the College of Winterhold? They have a deep interest in such arcana. You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. That's all. Hmm? Did you need... May the scales of the dragon kind splinter at the touch of your arrows, and crack under the weight of your sword. That's all there is to it, Dragonborn. Good luck. Goodbye, then. Do you need something? The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the Blades, someday. If you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look at them. Remember, though, being a blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in.
Talk to Gaiman if you want a horse. Or Catla if you're looking for work. I can't help you. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? <laughs> Climb and back and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for better weather. Winterhold belongs to Skyrim. Not the Imperials, or the Mages. at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Do you? It is true, there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Do you really have the voice? I would be most impressed to see that. So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic. But you... I think there is much that we can learn from each other. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabelle Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me.
the college is an asset to Skyrim, even if it goes unnoticed or unappreciated. I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. What you learn I here will last a lifetime. Clear. Several of your time. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand girl? I knew it. Everyone comes in here expecting my help, but they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. The scrolls exist here, with us, but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of Divine-made substance, so we could know them. Sorry, talking about the scrolls, you usually end up in irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. The simplest way to put it is knowledge, but there's nothing simple about an Elder Scroll. It's a reflection of all possible futures and all possible pasts. Each reader sees different reflections through different lenses and may come away with a different reading. But at the same time, all of it is true. Even the falsehoods. Especially the falsehoods. Ah. You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Of course. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? Immensely powerful mage, back in the first era. Had an understanding of magic, few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian, and devoted all his time to research and study, but more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. 
Fight well. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand girl? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about... Wait, are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but well, that was years ago. Ugh, haven't heard from him since. It's lies, all of it. I don't care what she told you, it's all lies. No? Well then she hasn't gotten to you yet, but she will. And don't you believe a word of it. My problem with her? She's the one who has a problem with me. She's threatened by me, by my skill as a wizard, by my elegance and posture, by my superior good looks. But she is not going to get the better of me. Oh no, I won't let it get to me one bit. That's what she's after. She's trying to undermine my confidence, make me doubt myself. Well, it won't work, I tell you. Mm-hmm. I believe I've made myself rather clear. 
You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the And the top level was built. Eh? No more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. Ah, the ice entombs the heart. The bane of Kagranak and Degothur. To harness it is to know the fundaments. The Dwemer lockbox hides it from me. The Elder Scroll gives insight deeper than the Deep Ones, though, to bring about the opening. I have seen enough to know their fabric, the warp of air, the weft of time. But no, it is not in my possession. Here. Well, here as in this plain, Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want. But you must bring him something in return. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. 
Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Oft hand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. To your left, you see one way. You look to your right, you see another. But neither is any harder than the opposite. But the Elder Scrolls, they look left and right in the stream of time. And the future and past are as one. Sometimes they even look up. What do they see then? What if they dive in? Ah, then the madness begins. Ooh, an observant one. How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox. Look upon it and wonder. Inside is the heart. The heart of a god. The heart of you and me. But it was hidden away. Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone else, uh, unseen, unknown, found the heart, and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all-sight given by an Elder Scroll. To glimpse the world inside an Elder Scroll can damage the eyes or the mind as it has to Septimus. The Dwemer found a loophole as they always do to focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Place the lexicon into their contraption and focus the knowings into it. When it brims with glow, Bring it back, and Septimus can read once more. The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing. It plays the attitude of notes proper for opening. Can you not hear it? Too low for hearings? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. 
Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. We don't get many people like you this I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? My pa says elves are bad and not to trust them. It was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor mistake. Unless you're bringing me another I've already round. corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. My days at the college are long behind me, but I prefer to stay close by. 